Halo Universe Series 3 Blind Bags. Pretty much the best army building set we've ever got. Maybe the best blind bag series we've ever got. I don't know. I don't make the rules, but this is incredible. Back up to eight figures after a few series of six figures, and these are all chosen by the fans. Like, this is just the perfect blind bag series. Everything you could want from your mystery bags. And of course, that's why we've got 20 of them. Oh yes, 20 Halo Universe Series 3 blind bags. We're gonna open them all up in one sitting. So, strap yourselves in everybody. This is unedited, just some chill music in the background. I'm gonna talk through some life updates and I'm gonna bust open all these blind bags and secure ourselves some beautiful figures, including the brand new Halo 2 Anniversary Elite, the Flood Brute, oh my goodness, the new articulation CQB. It's a dream come true. And look at that, I'm just gonna position them there. That's a thumbnail if I've ever seen one before. Look at that. Uh, let's bring it up even further. There we go. Okay, so Halo Universe Series 3 blind bags. I've already been on a journey with these things. I actually filmed two different videos with these blind bags back in Montreal in July, and they're currently going through license or approval. One of them is revealing the new blind bag series with Kevin, one of the designers, and one of them is opening a full set of these blind bags with another one of the staff members who actually helped sculpt and mold the figures. So there's some really exciting stuff coming up. I believe his name was Ben. I really hope his name was Ben. Yeah, really exciting stuff coming up. And I, you know, did I want these to be revealed first on my channel with these official videos from Montreal? Yes. Did, is that what happened? No. Life is complicated. Life is mysterious. Um, we've got a Halo Wars Brute, a Halo 3 Spartan CQB, Halo 2 Anniversary Elite Jake Rodomni, a Brute Flood from Halo 3, a Halo 3 Grunt, Halo CE Chips Dubo, and a Helljumper. And yes, that is an official canonical Billy the Grunt. I won't be told otherwise. Right. We're gonna open these up and just wish me luck because this could be, this could go any way, but here's the thing. Unlike most blind bag series, I genuinely will be happy with whatever I get because they are all amazing figures. And I also want to mention that most of these figures are gonna be resold at retail and redistributed inside the UK where distribution has been bad. I scored these from Atomic Empire and they were at retail. If you wanna be up to date with the newest deals and offers, I suggest following Mega Constructs News on Instagram or Twitter and following my Discord or my Twitter where I post uh, the newest deals and bargains whenever they become available. Right, get rid of all that, that uh, styrofoam. Okay, the first figure is the beautiful Spartan CQB. And I gotta tell you, uh, the community's been very excited about this one. Like, a new articulation CQB has been one of the most requested things from Mega, uh, particularly like the most requested Spartan, because look at it, it's CQB. We, it's, it's a crime against humanity that we've never got a CQB. Well, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but it's a crime that we never got a CQB in our, uh, you know, in our blind bags and new articulation before. Some of the old, old articulation CQBs are one of my, uh, you know, some of my favorite figures, so great to see. The gray undersuit uh, in this lighting particular looks great. Like this new camera really does pick up all those accents so much better than my old camera. I'm so happy for the upgrade. Comes with a white base plate, which is a funny one, but never mind. Uh, well, I, I don't mean never mind. I mean, it, you know, creative choice. I, I don't. I don't care what color the base plate is, to be honest with you. Um, and it comes with a one of the first times we have ever seen a painted weapon in a blind bag series. Like it almost never happens. And we've got this lovely red stripe across it. Kevin said he wanted to give a nice little extra flair to this. And I agree that definitely works. The CQB is such a bulky figure that, you know, it's gonna be hard to hold both of those handles uh, with, with both of his hands. He's got such a massive chest on this mold. So, you know, it's a little bit challenging. Demarcation Media also pointed out that he's not as much of a fan of the articulation of this head. I don't really, okay, he can't really look down <laughs> per se, but um, I think it looks okay. Um, here's the thing, you'll, 
you'll seldom really find me complaining on this channel. Some people uh, like that, some people think I need to be more, um, you know, objective. Um, or subjective, objective, subjective, I don't know. Some people think I need to be more critical. I, I do this because I love, like, you think I'm making a lot of money from ad revenue on this channel? I make these videos because I love making videos about these products. Like, I, I'll be critical when uh, I need to be, uh, especially with things like distribution, but right now I'm just enjoying a lovely Spartan CQB. And yeah, I held, um, they were kind of prototypes that I held in Montreal, um, more just like, they, they were less prototypes and more just um, final products, uh, product figures, but at the same time, the packaging was definitely a prototype that I was holding, so who knows. All right, Spartan CQB, you do look great. Uh, you don't hold the Spartan laser amazingly, but you, you look excellent. And that is the first figure as the door goes and Kellen walks in. Hello, Kellen, good morning. All right, we got one blind bag in and Kellen got home, so apologies for the occasional beep and boop that might come from his computer, you know? We're, hey. we're not in a total soundproof studio here. We don't, we don't have that kind of money here on the domain. But if you want to make that happen, go to Simon's Patreon. <laughs> yeah, we want to get it. You, you want me to soundproof the heck out of my house? Pay me on Patreon. All right, let's get the second. Ooh, hello. Oh, it just fell right out of there. Also, um... Quick like little mention of the fact that blind bags are now pre-built, which for me just robs you of most of the experience. Like I'm not being funny, but when I buy a bag, I mean, if a child buys a blind bag, they want to build the figure. And I know some of the logic behind it. I know that, you know, some of these figures, they're incredibly robust. Like you can have 50 of these knocking around in a bucket for a year and they'll pretty much stay intact apart from maybe losing the shoulders. So for that level of durability, you do have uh, quite a difficult time building them sometimes, particularly popping the hips in. But for me, it's like, I want to build my figure when I get it out of a blind bag. Sure, when I'm opening 20 of them on camera, it's way easier for me to just <laughs> rip them open and show off the figure, but I don't know. Also, big shout out to Chunky Chief. Uh, he was telling me on Xbox the other day, one of his dreams from Mega was always to own a metallic green Helljumper, but those dreams faded away into obscurity when Halo 5 Guardians also faded into obscurity and Halo Infinite came along with no Helljumper armor. So, he thought he'd never get it, but, for whatever reason, Mega decided, well, I do know the reason, but I'm gonna leave that for uh, when Kevin actually explains it on camera. But for whatever reason, Mega decided to bring back the Hell Jumper, probably for a one off, but it just looks so good. And they've definitely fixed, uh, or at least greatly, greatly improved the difference in colored plastic between the head and the chest. You know, any of the, particularly like the Halo 3 and Halo 5 figures that came out around the Halo 5 Guardians era the heads and the chests and whatever else, the other parts of the armor were different kinds of plastic. So always look different shades, which was a little off putting, but I think they pretty much nailed it here. This looks great. Uh, the purple visor, I've seen some people on Twitter and Instagram complain about that. I could not care less. This hell jumper looks great. Comes with a basic Hydra and a black base plate. It's just a solid figure. It's probably the figure that I want the least out of this series, but we'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, here, here's pretty much one of the only criticisms I will throw uh, to this series. And it's a very base level criticism. Um, the Grunt and the Brute should not be rares. Uh, the rares should be the Hell Jumper and the CQB. If you switch those round, that is the perfect rarity. Like the Flood being common and Chipped Dubo and the Elite, uh, great and Jager Adomni, I only want one AC per box, you know what I mean? I don't need an AC all the time. Uh, I don't want more than one Jager Adomni AC. So that's a great ultra rare, but these two should be commons. These two should be rares. All right, rant over. That was barely even a rant. <laughs> a lot of people are like, you wanna see me rant? Okay, third figure. Also, yeah, I'm cutting off the back because again, I'm selling these at pretty much retail back to people in the UK. So I want them to be able to have the bag alongside the figure. Just, just for the whole experience, you know? Oh, here it is. Here it is, boys. We got it. We got it. Bag number three. We, oh, look at that. The Flood Brute. Halo 3 Flood Brute. Uh, Kellen, you remember when I was revealing the, the new articulation Flood back last year, right? Uh, yeah. There, there's the brute. It's 
pretty epic. It's pretty epic. Uh, super grotesque. I mean, um, I revealed the Elite last year, and we've already got a Marine and a Brute as well. Mega's been going all in, and this is the first new articulation flood to actually have a built-in, like, molded helm, a uh, head, a uh, molded head mold. Like, usually the Elite or the Marine head is sort of just popped on top, but this is molded in, so just another example of Mega listening to feedback at all times, and oh my god, it just looks so good. It looks so good. Comes with a spiker, first time we got a spiker in a long time, and a basic desert base plate. And yeah, they, they've all got different colored base plates. I think that's more mega like moving away from like the color, may, maybe like the, f the entire collectability of each series. Because if you think about it, the last few Halo Hero series have been uh, individual base plates with the, the faction and the character's name, not like a particular color for the series. So they're more just saying like, yeah, these, these are being added to your collection, not like as a series, if you get what I mean. But also you can just collect them as a series. Um, I've seen a mixed bag of responses to like uh, different colored base plates. I have a question. Yeah, you have a question. What's your question, Colin? Um, the Flood can shoot guns? Oh, Flood can shoot guns. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I had no idea. Um, flood Marines <laughs> with rocket launchers and nightmare fuel. Oh. All right. Figure number four. What's it going to be? Oh, another hell jumper. That's fine by me. That's okay. You know what? I'll take it. Um, if I was to, like, obviously the thing that I want to army build the most out of this would be the Flood Brute. The Billy the Grunt and the Chips Dubo, the Elite, well, <laughs> gosh, this is an army building series. There's a lot that I want. The Hell Jumper's the only one I don't really care for, but again, I'm not really keeping most of these, so it doesn't really matter. And as I say that, there's another Hell Jumper. <laughs> oh yeah? What are your thumbs up in? Just, uh, just, just some work stuff. Great day for hay, dude. Great day for hey. Are you emailing? Great day for hey, eh? Are your emails looking good? Looking great. Looking great. All right, so three hell jumpers. Uh, you know, that's okay. Also, I don't think by any means these would be fixed. These were direct from Atomic Empire. I think they just sold them hey, as everyone. they were. Hey, Kellen's hand. Uh, this feels chunky. This feels chunky. It's ah ha Finally, the Elite from Halo 2, the Halo 2 Anniversary Elite with a brand new head mold, or a brand new helmet mold, looking exceptional, look at that. And, um, you know, obviously, uh, like I said, I filmed an initial reveal of these back in July, so when the image leaked of this series, just the blind bag image, people were freaking out because the Elite was positioned like this. Well, you can see how it's positioned on the packaging. It looks like it's still a half jaw, uh, the half jaw from Halo 2 anniversary that came in the 20th character pack. So people were really annoyed that we were getting a Halo 2 Anniversary Elite, but it was going to be a half jaw because there's really only one of them in the canon. Uh, but no, I was sat there just uh, twiddling my thumbs thinking, hi, you fools. <laughs> no, um, I was thinking, yeah, that'll be nice when everyone finally realizes that they are getting the full Elite. And this is so much more than just a basic Elite. Those light details on his chest, this black just works amazingly. Like this helmet is a beast. Oh, love it. And we get the brand new mold plasma rifle, which is considerably smaller, like considerably smaller than the original. Um, it was one of those. I was like, I didn't think there was a problem with the plasma rifle. But then when people pointed it out, I was like, oh, well, yeah, I guess so. Um, that, that's usually how I am with a lot of these things when, when, when there's actual problems with figures um, or like, no, like non-canonical colors on grunts or something. People are pointed out and I'm like, well, yeah, I guess so. Also, Callum, you're running a tap right now? I'm sorry, dude. I'm blacked out. I'm tired. I just got home from the gym, dude. I'm tired. I forgot, dude. All right, this Elite looks amazing. Comes with a sort of a metallic y uh, gray base plate, kind of like a four on a base plate. Uh, oh, yeah, I got nothing but good things to say about this Elite. Let's hope that I unpackage a lot more of those on this video. <sighs> got to keep on getting rid of all that styrofoam fluff. All right, next one, three, two, one, it's the Flood Brute. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It just, it just looks so good. It just, it just looks so good. I mean, how many of these am I gonna have in my collection by the end? I don't know. Um, certainly when I get back to England, before I do sell these, again, at like basically retail to friends. Are we gonna have to have just a diorama between, that's all, what your, I, that's between you, all your flood brutes and all of your you just, flights of St. Helios? You just, <laughs> you just stole the words out of my mouth. Um, but we don't have anything to make dioramas with right now. That's the only problem. But yeah, I think uh, when I get back to England, I definitely need to do a full um, flood diorama before I then send them all out to people. 
All right, so um, two flood. We're looking good. You know, our odds are pretty good. I don't need any more hell jumpers. No more hell jumpers, please. He says as he opens a hell jumper. That's usually the way with these kind of things. Oh no, there we go. Another elite. I will take it. I'll take that to the bank. Beautiful. Take that to the bank. Cash. Uh, absolutely. Um, and yeah, you, um, you, you did hear it right. Like I, I do want to make sure that I'm, I'm redistributing these for a good price uh, back home. If you find a box of uh, Halo Universe Series 3 blind bags, buy the box, use what you need, and then just sell them for like a good price. Just put them uh, for a good price on eBay. Like not only do you help out the community, maybe you make some of your money back, because a good price can still be like a dollar or two increase. And then not only have you like done a good service, you've also directly combat scalpers because then scalpers can't list for the same like scalpers have to list for a lower price than yours and that just slowly helps whittle away at the problem all right another CQB how funny we've uh, we've got eight figures in the series but we've only found four of them so far I guess um, uh, yeah these are all commons aren't they that okay that does make sense we've only found commons so far with another CQB. Let's just get a really good macro look at that one more time. That looks so good. Looks so good. Let's get, get a it. quick little macro look at that flood. Sheesh. I mean, just look at that camera, man. Look at his face, dude. I know. Oh my God. Well, so so remember, when, when flood infect you, usually they'll they'll enter your bloodstream however they can, um, usually with those like tentacles that That's like latch into you. But then, but then, outside. when they take over your body, they push tentacles out of your mouth. So you can see that's like erupted out of his mouth and like split his jaw open. Oh, I didn't realize it was out of the mouth. Yeah, it's always out of the mouth. I think it's mostly out of the mouth. I don't know. All right, come on, give me, oh yeah, that bucket is on the floor to remind me that the fridge is unplugged. <laughs> because because the fridge <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, everyone did you go there's a there's a random bucket upside down on the floor and it's to remind Simon that the fridge is unplugged yeah because he unplugged it because it makes noise for videos oh well, yeah why would a random upside down bucket <laughs> it would it because it's so weird you'll see it be like why do I do that? no absolutely you'd no, see it and you'd be like oh I get, yeah I get why fridge is unplugged it's a hilarious joke even though I get Give me the grunt, give me the grunt, give me the grunt. Oh, ACJ got an Adomni. Finally, Whoa. let's go. Whoa. Hey, look at they're kind of, uh, you put them together a little bit. Wait. <laughs> Puts one head in the camera. Wait, hold on. Uh, where is it? Where's what? I don't see anything. What? Well, I, like I'm holding something in my hand. I can feel the weight I, I of don't, it. I don't know. What, dude, that's, that's crazy. Oh my God. Brother, that's crazy. That's crazy, dude. Uh, also, this is my first ever Jager Adomni figure because I still don't have the Banished Phantom. Mega, please help me. <laughs> I can't, I can't, uh, like every time I'm in America, I'm like, well, I can't pay to ship it back. Um, I could get it from Mattel Creations, that is true. Uh, yeah, first ever Jager Adomni figure. Uh, looks really good. And it makes total sense that this is Jager Adomni in this series. Um, as Kevin explained to me, he was like, Jager Adomni, when you first meet him, he's AC. So this is like first encounter Jager Adomni from the campaign, which I, I gotta love that, uh, that res I, I gotta love that attitude. Now I really need to see a pop and swap. Wow, look at that. That's so dope. So we actually got the ultra rare, which definitely proves that Atomic Empire is not fixing the, <laughs> the odds on this one. Um, and yeah, Atomic Empire is currently sold out, but I think they'll have more stock soon. They sold out within like an hour, so I mean, I, I shared it and then they were gone. Also, I originally ordered 50 of these and um, then shared the listing and then Atomic Empire refunded me for 29 of them. So I think I just, I caused too much hype and then I lost out myself. But I mean, so be it. Uh, to the, to the power, power to the collectors, you know. Uh, okay, and another hell jumper. Are you trying my patience, Mega? Are you trying my patience here? This is why I said this should not be a common figure. It should be a rare figure. I only want like one or two of these, please. Please don't give me any more hell jumpers. I'm begging you. I'm on my hands and knees. <laughs> like four of them. <laughs> give, give me four flood brutes. Give me four elites. Don't give me four hell jumpers. What? What are you doing to me? Okay. This one's gonna be the grunt. This one's gonna be. Uh, this is. I want my first canonical Billy the Grunt. I think I saw what it was. It's an elite. That's great. That's great. You know, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Why would I complain about a Halo 2 elite? Also, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to like experiment because like I'm going to put this out um, as an unedited video. Basically, when it comes to like one of these that's like 30 minutes long, I think it's nicer with just like relaxing music and like a podcast vibe. What's up, Kellen? That looks 
pretty gross. What is that? Oh, wow, are you gonna blend that? <laughs> yeah. Cool. This is like a mini, uh, oh, like a mini black. Whoa! You gotta kinda turn it upside down. Turn the it up. longer you let it sit, it kind of like gets caught in here. All right, go. <laughs> All right, do we, do Sorry, guys. Had to have my protein shake after the gym. After his <laughs> big workout. Big workout, man. Get your protein in. All right, a third Halo Elite. Right, how many have we done? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we've got, uh, have we got eight left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we got... No, we got nine left. Wait, am I, am, I, am I counting wrong? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I guess we got, I guess we got, I guess we got one more than we actually need. But uh, I promised 20 and I'm going to open 20. I'll keep one sealed. Okay. No! Don't do this to me, Mega. What? <sighs> hell jumper, man. The fifth hell jumper. I got a cold sweat on. I'm furious. I'm sh I'm shaking in my boots right now. You're what in your boots right now? I'm shaking in my little boots. Don't put it up with your boots, Ted. I'm shaking in my little booties. Um, right. W what is this one that I was gonna discard anyway? Was I was I about to discard a, an AC Jager Redomni? Let's find out. Oh no, I was gonna discard a Flood Brute. Don't want to do that. Okay. So yeah, I've been back in the US for about uh, four days. It's been non-stop. Uh, I still don't have a SIM card because Kellen just robs me of all my free time. Um, but we've been Fake news, dude. We've been having a good time. We've been having a really good time. And uh, that Flood Brute right there, that's a good time. I'm having, oh, that goes his leg. Now that Flood Brute is a good time. Okay. A Spartan CQB, okay. These are, the, I, I feel like these odds are weird. I feel like we got the ultra rare um, and then we've got nothing but commons. We haven't seen any of the rare brute or grunt. Like we haven't seen one of them. That's kind of strange. I mean, it's it's randomized, right? It's not like, it's well, it's, it's, it's basically randomized. Um, let's just quickly, I'm gonna, I'm just quickly feeling a couple of these, making sure, oh no wait, one of them's empty, oh yeah, this, if you feel them, you're a cheater, oh, that's, that's a bold accusation, um, one of them is actually empty, so also, we do, there's eight figures, and you have five, and then you have five left, yeah, this is weird odds, good luck, this is weird odds, okay, ready, three, two, one, a Spartan CQB, okay, <laughs> you know, see, the Spartan CQB, this is a new mold, I'll take as many of those as possible, like, that's great, um, but, uh, yeah, we're just gonna have him holding this, uh, Spartan Lace very weirdly. He's, uh, he's not been in military training for a while, he's a bit out of touch. He's been in that blind bag for too long. Okay. We need the Brute, we need Chips Dubo, we need the Grunt. Um, yeah, this, let's, 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 let's see. What is it, Kellen? Is it the Hell Jumper? No. Oh. It's the blue guy. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take another elite. But what the heck are these odds, man? <laughs> I go, it's the blue guy. <laughs> it's the blue guy? You well, know, know what, know, you know know what an elite, elite is? I, I assume, like... Just say it's the elite. <laughs> yeah, but I thought it was going to be, like, a special name Okay, it's the Halo 2 anniversary elite. Because technically, Jagaram down nine is also an elite dude. So yeah, yeah. It wouldn't have been very clear, would it have, Simon? I mean, yes, because the elite is just the elite. Jagger Redumna is Jagger Redumna. Okay. okay, hey, well, I didn't Come know on. he was a Come on. Elite. Come on, Chips Dubo. Okay, Flood Brute, I'll take it. But still, what are these odds? Let me open one. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, which one do you feel is uh, is gonna be the... Uh... Yeah. Okay, dude. I'm oh, sorry. I'm not that sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Just I put, gotta do it. I just put a little slit in the back. It doesn't count if I don't cut it. Okay, put a little slit in the back. Ready? Yep. Sure. I'm gonna scratch the table, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, on camera, on camera. I don't know who Chips Dubo is. Come on, baby. It's him, Come on, baby. I think. That's it, Cal. No. A CQB. These are these are some weird blind bags. These are some weird blind bags. So, ladies and gentlemen, we, we have got um we've we've only got five of them, which again, it's not a problem because I'll be getting more. Um and you know, uh, these are these are gonna be appreciated regardless by, by UK collectors. But uh but really though, what a weird, weird combination. We've got uh, four Flood Brutes, four Elites, four CQBs, um, and then five Hell Jumpers and a Jager Redomni. And this is our last pack for today. Um, so. Wait, wait, wait. Aren't you saving one? 
Yeah, there's one. I've saved one. Did you make sure that that one's yeah. not one of the ones? Yeah. 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Right. Oh, we got five, five CQBs. Okay, he's ready to go. So, this is the last one. And we need to get a Chips Dubo, a Grunt, and a Brute. <sighs> Here we go. Here we go. It's, it's gonna a be, hell jumper. It's going to be a hell jumper. Just it's going to be a hell jumper. Okay, well, yeah, okay, another CQB. What a weird blind bag um, opening. I mean, to be fair, the uh, the other- the, To be fair. Well, um, so the, the, well, so here's the thing. The, what, what was the rarity again? Let me just pull up the rarity. The Chips Dubo was a common, so it's really weird we didn't get any Chips Dubos. Like, that is actually very bizarre. Um, then the Brute and the Grunt are rares, so that kind of makes sense. And we got we got lucky with an ultra rare, so they're all common. So that you know that checks out. But like, no chips Dubo, no CE Marine. Um, that's I mean that's weird. But like whatever, I'll take it. Um, join us for the next twenty blind bag opening, where hopefully we'll do uh, well. I, it's like do better. Here's the thing. This is one of the only series where like everything is is golden. The the hell jumpers. Um, you know. I would be disappointed if I bought these for myself and they were just hell jumpers, but I'm buying these um, for other people. So like, people will want those. They'll go anyway. Um, but still a bit weird. Four flood brutes, great. Four elites, great. The CQBs will also go to really good homes. Six of those. Wow, CQB was the com the most common. And then the AC Jager Domni is that one. I will definitely keep. Obviously, I'll be keeping one of these each. The rest, are, I think they're going to be going in some kind of lottery system. Also, if you're a UK resident and you'd like to get in on that, uh, message me on Facebook, the Mega Constructs domain, and I'll add you into the chat. My name is Simon. I'm the one that's just always hanging around doing doing posts about toys and things. You, you know how He's it is. He's the Mega Constructs. Guy. I'm the Mega Constructs guy. Hey, that's a meme I've not visited in a while. Um, right now I'm the Domizzle in the Hizzle. That's like the, the new Domizzle one. The Domizzle in, in the Hizzle. Helen's Hizzle. Exactly. We make, we make it different every time. It's like yeah. the Domizzle in the Canada Hizzle, the Domizzle in the Emergency News Hizzle or whatever like that. You know, we, we, we do a lot of stuff. So uh, let me know what you think of this haul down below. If you'd got 20 and this was your selection, would you be happy with this? And which figure are you most excited to collect? Hope you enjoyed. This was another video with the Domain and the Flood Brutes in all their grotesque glory are signing off. I did not wish to keep the Hierarchs waiting. The human that killed the Prophet of Regret. Who was it? Who do you think? The demon is here, looking for a little payback. Retrieving the icon is my only concern. <laughs> of course.